Good evening, fellow masters. My name is Musaki from Kaudia Gurus, and we just got some wonderful news. On February 22nd, we're going to get quite a few things, starting off with the Kaudia Boys Collection. So, what exactly is the Kaudia Boys Collection? The Kaudia Boys Collection is a little, res a little response from the Lightworks, uh, when a lot of people wanted uh, to get some of their Hospando action after all the female fan service from Valentine's Day event. So this is what you have. Um, on the 22nd, you will receive CBC 2018 Special Invitation. You can use this invitation to collect one of eight special craft essences. You can get one for free, and these are limited, so that's completely awesome. Now, if you want more after this, you can go ahead and roll for them in the gotcha, which we'll get to in a minute, but you get one of these for free. And we're gonna go over these just so you can know exactly what you can expect. Uh, let's see which one you actually want for the effect that they have. These are actually some pretty good effects. We're gonna start off with Kiss Your Hand, 5 star craft essence, HP 0, attack 500, increase arts cards, buster cards, and quick card effectiveness by 10%. The max limit it is 12%. On the art, you have Gilgamesh, Emiya, and Kukuan dressed up and ready to accept your hand. Whew, making me hot and bothered. Next up, we have Professor and I. HP 750, attack 0. Increase Noble Phantasm Gauge by 50% at the start of the battle. Increases Critical Star Gathering by 300%. We have a wonderful craft essence here that combines two very good craft essence effects. So honestly, this is my early pick. I will be picking Professor and I, and I know a couple of people will for multiple reasons. It has Waver in her Zuke Leon form, and young Alexander, who we know is his Kanda from Fate Zero. So it's a very touching, very sweet, and adorable picture. Next up, we have Versus with the Bollywood Boys. That's not the name of it, it's just called Versus. Increases damage to divine enemies by 80% for 3 turns. It decreases damage from divine enemies by 40% for 3 turns. And this is max limit. It increases the damage by 100% to divine and decreases it by 50%. So this is uh, very niche. Um, honestly, only 3 turns isn't the best per se, especially for a 5 star craft essence. So yeah, not too much, not too crazy about this. If you like Karna, if you like Arjuna, this is going to be very good for you. Also, if you're worried about doing more damage to Divine in particular, it'll be very good as well. Moving on to Moonlit 4, 4 star craft essence. Attack 0, HP 400. Increase Noble Phantasm gain by 12%. Increase Critical Star drop rate by 12%. Restore 200 HP per turn. That's actually pretty decent. It's not too bad at all. Increasing the drop rate by 12% is going to be ideal for servers who can generate those stars. Noble Phantasm gains off of quick will mean you get your Noble Phantasm quickly. And gaining 200 HP per turn, why not a lot, can add up slowly. Like, it's, I can see this definitely being good on a Lancelot or an Okita or, or a Skahawk. Anyone that can take advantage of the Noble Phantasm gain. I mean, Okita doesn't need it. Her gain is really large, so, but... Anyway, that's just my that's just my opinion on looking at it. Next up, we have four star craft essence glass full sweet time. HP 320, attack 200, apply sure hit, apply damage plus 400, and decrease incoming damage by 200. This is very narrow, very narrow indeed. But the fact that it applies sure hit permanently is actually pretty decent, um, and that, that permanent 400 damage boost. Might come in handy a little bit. It's, the numbers are very small, but you're using this for the sure hit. If you don't have any of the two craft essences that exist currently, one being the three star craft essence that was a bit limited, then um, this is definitely something you'll get. And on this craft essence, we have Dr. Jackal, David, and Dear Mood. Next up, we have Salon de Marie. HP 300, attack 0. Apply evade for one time. Increase HP recovery amount by 5% and increase debuff success rate by 3%. You're not getting this necessarily for the effect, you're getting this for the fact that you have Dion, Samson, and Mozart in the same art. And for here, Dion actually looks it's kind of, it's still kind of hard to tell, <laughs> but I do see a little bit of masculinity in these pretty boys here. And if you like the art here, just definitely pick this up, it looks really nice. Though I have a feeling it'll be in the friend points because it is a 3 star craft essence. Moving on, we have the Prince of Slayers, the 3-star craft essence. 
HP 160 and attack 100. Gain one critical star per turn and increases damage against dragons by 8%. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So we have Kojiro, the slayer and protector, the slayer of dragons, the true savior of France. We have Siegfried, who in lore does extra damage against dragons. So while uh, one critical star per turn isn't that great, and even max limit is only two, um, it, it's not the not the best, but it's not the worst at a three star craft essence. If you don't have Fragment of 2030, it's something, the dragon thing is very niche. But again, you'll probably get into the fact that it has Kojiro and Siegfried on there singing their hearts out to you. And lastly, we have Noisy Obsession as a four star craft essence. Uh, zero HP and 400 attack. Increase critical strength by 15%, increase noble phantasm strength by 15%, and increase charm rate by 12%. On the art, you have Arash, Estolfo, and Hyde. So definitely going for the boy band look. It's, again, super niche. You're probably going to get this more for the critical strength of the MP and the noble phantasm strength, uh, more so than the charm rate. Charm doesn't necessarily work out that well unless it's um, probably on the phantom or in other niche cases where you're working with Seno, Uriel, someone that can use it to their effectiveness. Charm is okay. Not the best, just okay. So again, you're getting this for the art. So if you're going for pure function, honestly, to me, in my opinion, Professor and I will be ideal for the free one. And uh, if you want the other ones for the art, pick that as well, but that's my pick personally. But that is not all that comes with this. We also have a gotcha, and of course we have a gotcha. It's fate. They gotta get that torch from you. They gotta get the money from your wallet. So, what are they enticing us with this time? They are enticing us with a banner that's actually a little bit modified in compared to his Japanese counterpart. We have Amakusa Shiro, 5-star ruler, known from Apocrypha. Alstolfo, 4-star writer, also from Apocrypha. Child Gilgamesh, who... Yeah, you've seen him in a couple different things, but he's here at a 3-star archer, along with Vlad, Tesla, and Waver. So... And, uh, and of course, all the other craft tests that I mentioned before. So... This is interesting. This is one of the few banners that Astolfo will be here. And let's just be honest, he's, his popularity is off the charts. I know people that are going to roll for him regardless of how his stats and skills are. Just because it's Astolfo. Best girl and best boy. The trap of all traps. And Amakusa, well, I mean, he's not bad. If you don't have Jean, he's, he's another ruler. But... He doesn't really get better until he gets a strengthening quest later down the line and actually gets him some power. Um, at this point, you can tell that uh, Delight Works had didn't really have an idea how to make a ruler strong outside of the fact that they take less damage from everybody. So this is their attempt at making an offensive version of ruler and um, big success. If you like Apocrypha, if you like Amakusa, definitely give it a shot. This banner will be lasting from the 22nd all the way into the 1st. But if you're not really into these characters, you might want to hold off because we have upcoming event information and main quest. At, uh, uh, sorry, main quest and main quest AP costs for one half their campaign. Wow, why am I saying this so weird? Upcoming event information and the fact that main quest AP costs are cut in half. So, London. Okeanos, everything of main story, not free quests, are going to be cut in half, which means America's coming, so you might want to get ready for that. But more importantly, this will last from the 22nd until the 15th, not the 1st. Well, if you look at this banner here, you'll see the mysterious figure that we saw in the Garden of Sinners. And, spoiler alert, if you did not know, this figure is Edmund Dante's the Count of Monte Cristo himself, and he has his own week-long event. The event will last. Will start on March 1st and it will last for seven days. This is the event that's meant to be for high-level players, so only masters that have completed London up until this point can participate. FYI, we have a video on this coming out. We won't go into everything in detail, but we will on our Facebook. Each day that a new event will come out, we will post a tip from DaVinci yourself saying how you can defeat this thing. So definitely keep an eye on our Facebook, our Twitter, we'll definitely keep that going. The main quest AP cost cut in half usually means that another singularity is coming and they want you to hurry up and beat the story so you can get caught up. So take that in mind, prepare. You're gonna get courts, you're gonna get this, and you know what happens after America, guys? 
Jolter's coming. That's right, kids. Jolter's coming. So, that is going to be it for a nice little quick video. I didn't want to get too crazy into this. I wanted to be a little little free form. I am in the middle of editing this Master Mission video, so you might see this before or after that video is released. But until next time, I'm Mustaki from Kaudia Gurus. Log it out. Thank you for watching the video, Senpai! If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell to be notified. Want to support us even more? Feel free to go to our Patreon and check us. Special thanks to the lovely names on the screen, and especially, special thanks to our patrons Devin Luca, Lucky Number 5, Yasashi Ifuyu, AD876, Ri Nico, Albi Rio, and Nell Celestine. You masters are truly awesome! Now good luck and fight hearts and pie.